We're about to break down my top free agent targets after the 2022 NFL Draft for the Titans. But we here at Chad Sports believe in being shows for the people. So I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. Name a player who you want the Titans to go out and sign in the comment section right now. Tom Downey here for Tennessee Titans today by Chat Sports. As promised, we're breaking down my top free agent targets. Now, I had to do some loosey-goosey math here to figure out how many players were actually on the Titans roster right now. But they do appear to be under the 90-man roster limit. There are, I believe, still some holes on that roster to fill. Not in terms of like the just adding a player to add a player, but getting better players to help your championship contender status. The Titans right now have under $5 million in cap space, so they would have to get potentially creative to fit some of the bigger names. The one area I am going to continue to look at is the wide receiver spot for Tennessee. Robert Woods is now suddenly wide receiver 1A as opposed to clear-cut wide receiver 2, or maybe he's 2, or maybe he's 1B, with Traylon Burks. Uh, it's interesting dynamic here uh, with Nick Westbrook-Akinney, who I think is a lot better as a receiver four versus five. I know they like to run the football. I want to add another receiver. I think Kyle Phillips long-term can be your slot receiver, and I know Traylon Burks can also and probably should be a slot receiver early on in his NFL career. Des Fitzpatrick's been a disappointment as a fourth-round pick. Racy McMath, more of a special teams guy. I would look for another outside receiver to – help out this organization. By the way, I almost put Julio Jones on this list, but I, I don't think they want to bring him back. First up is Odell Beckham, who had he been healthy, or if he were healthy, would probably already be signed. Now, he, is reha he rehabbed his stock and now is rehabbing it again after he tore his ACL in the Super Bowl with the Rams. He looked a little bit more like the OBJ we remember from our time with the Giants. He did really up his game in the postseason. It was a brutal loss for the Rams and OBJ. It would be kind of funny to have Odell actually get to play this time with, with Robert Woods after what happened with the Rams there. The money could be a factor. I don't think he's going to be ready to go week one. Maybe you look elsewhere. Speaking of injured guys, that's what Will Fuller always is. Speed, vertical threat ability, it is absolutely there. The problem is he has a very difficult time actually staying on the football field. Will Fuller is a burner when he's out there. And that 2020 campaign, he looked special. He was beginning to be the guy we all thought he could be. Unfortunately for Fuller, he got dinged for PED usage in 2020 with, I believe, the same trainer that DeAndre Hopkins works with. That's suspicious, to be honest. 2021? He was barely out there, so we'll see what's going on with Fuller, but he would be a, a good vertical threat, a true speech, which team doesn't really have right now on the roster. I want you to name a receiver who you want to sign. I got two more names coming up here, but I'm curious if there's a wideout you guys want to add. I'll make this question the pinned comment on today's video, so if the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know a wide receiver who you want to sign. A name Titans fans should know pretty well, T.Y. Hilton. I do think the injuries are really starting to add up for Hilton at this stage in his NFL career. He wasn't very healthy last year. His numbers have dipped the past couple of seasons now. 2018, he was awesome. 2019, a little bit banged up. 2020, you know, there was the whole... His QB was pretty bad. That was a factor to an extent, but he hasn't been nearly as productive as 2018. The good news is you're not asking him to be 2018. If you can get 2019 T.Y. Hilton for 2 or $3 million, if that is the cost, that's actually kind of intriguing. Emmanuel Sanders, who, who I have argued has long been one of the most underrated wide receivers in the NFL, is also still out there. His numbers, too, have declined each year in, from 2019 to 2020 to 2021 as well. He's never been a, a true, like, elite wide receiver one, but I think he's always been one of the better wide receiver twos in the NFL. Good route runner, crafty player, gets open. I would love to add him if I were the Tennessee Titans. 
Let's get the 4K. We have got to 3K. Thank you all so much on that front. Now we want to get to the 4,000 mark. We are still a long ways off. Other channels continue to beat us here at Chat Sports. Let's get that changed. Hit that sub button right now. Let's look on the offensive line where I think they'll adopt the Dylan Raidens, Nicholas Petit free air competition. Maybe they kick Raidens to left guard, but I'm looking at left guard as a big need for this team. Aaron Brewer's there. Jamarco Jones was a free agency pickup, but I've seen him start for Seattle. He's not someone you want starting. He's not. He's, a, he's best as like your seventh or eighth offensive lineman, not as your fifth best offensive lineman. So two left guards I would have interest in knowing they are not elite football players because it is May and everyone who is out there has a question of some sort associated with them. First up, Eric Flowers, the former early round pick by the Giants, was a disaster at left tackle, has saved his career moving inside to guard. He is not great, but he is startable. A low-level passable starter is exactly what you're angling for if I ran the Titans. Now, what if you bring back Titans legend Quentin Spain? He was starting at left guard for the Bengals, and again, much like Eric Flowers, low-level ability. Is he going to be probably your worst offensive lineman? I'd say probably, unless the Raidens petit Friere combo is really rough. But I think he's better than Aaron Brewer and Jamarco Jones are right now. So of these two, who would you pick to start at left guard? Type in EF for Eric Flowers, or you can type in QS for Quinton Spain. How about you get a fatty in the middle? How about Linval Joseph? Now, he is not the player he was at his peak, and I wonder if the decline is going to really quickly set in. Because in general, at least this is my mindset, uh, when a big man starts to lose it, it's gone pretty quickly, looking at you, Snacks Harrison. But I go through this Titans depth chart, right? And I see that they're in decent shape. I love Jeffrey Simmons. I like Danico Autry a lot. I think Laurel Murchison still has some upside. Nose guards, Tyer Tart, Naquan Jones, other big men, and Kevin Strong, and maybe Deshaun Hand. I don't love it. I do like Haskell Garrett as a UDFA. I want a true run blocker just to be out there on first downs and help stop the running game of, say, the Indianapolis Colts, for example. Getting a true run stopper, I'd be intrigued by. I think Linval Joseph can still feel fill that role. What do you think is the single biggest need left for the Tennessee Titans? I want to hear from you guys. Uh, for me, it's receiver or left guard, one of those two spots. But maybe you feel differently. Let me know where you're angling to get some more impact in the comment section. Finally, Donta Hightower. Who do I think? Well, I don't think I know he fits the scheme because we've seen a similar-ish defense to an extent in the 3-4 style run for New England. It's a Mike Vrabel connection, right? He has been one of the more underrated linebackers in the NFL for years. I do think that Hightower is beginning to decline. His role for New England over the years has been fun. He's been their run stopper. He's been their edge rusher at points when they didn't have anybody. He's been their coverage guy. The age is starting to kind of catch up to Donta Hightower, and although I didn't think inside linebacker was a big need for Tennessee, despite what some of big media might have told you, how many times did we see the Titans mocked a round one linebacker? They weren't going to do it. I, didn't, I never thought that way. They did add Chance Campbell in the sixth round. They have Monty Rice, David Long, and Zach Cunningham. If Campbell doesn't impress, I do think that Donta Hightower would be an upgrade over Dylan Cole and Joe Jones on that team's 53-man roster. I think he'd be a fun fit as long as the Pages don't simply decide to bring him back. So that was my list, folks. All the top notable named free agents the Titans could go pursue. If you haven't already answered the question, now is a fantastic time to get in the comments and do so. Name a player who you want the Tennessee Titans to sign with the 2022 NFL Draft in the books.